My name is Henry Haskin, and this is my presentation on sharing. I'm a fifth grader at Middlestat Elementary. First, I wanted to see how the dictionary defines sharing. The verb to share means divide to parcel or to participate in or use in common with others. For the history of sharing, I turn to two places, the Bible and Old Chinese proverb. First in the New Testament, Luke chapter 6, verse 38 says, For if you give, you will get. Your gift will return in full and overflowing measure. To me, this means that if you give to the less fortunate, your gift back will not be physical, but be a feeling of joy. The joy comes from seeing a little boy or girl's joy-filled eyes, seeing the gift that you have just given them. Next, the Chinese proverb says, Give a man a fish, and he feed him for a day. Teach a man a fish, and he feed him for a lifetime. For me, this means that if you do something for a person now, they won't learn how to do it for themselves in the future. Ultimately, a person will be better off if they learn the skills so they can do more things for themselves in the future. Traditional sharing in my daily life is lending pencils to my schoolmates and toys with my friends, but it is even more important to give to those who are on hard times or those who can't help themselves. These are people who have fallen on hard times, a loss of job, a natural disaster, an injury, or death of a family member. Now these are people who cannot help themselves, the handicapped, children, ill people, and the elderly. Here are three examples of sharing programs in my community. Memorial Assistant Ministries, Middle Stat Elementary, and NAM. All of these three programs have a common goal, to help people in need. Importance of sharing skill. It's important for those people who are able to manage the struggles of life to help those who can't get jobs, homes, and other things for themselves, but need guidance in the right direction. I'm Henry Haskin, and this is uh, Peggy Burden. And I'm going to be asking her 10 questions about, what, about her charity. Okay. Okay, so why do you get involved with the Christmas donation? Well, part of our faith is to give back at Christmas time, and there's always so many people in our community that don't have a lot. So myself as an individual, and my job here at the church that I work at is to get other people involved to giving back, because at Christmas time, people always want to do something for somebody else. Okay. Were they enthusiastic? Very enthusiastic. A lot of times it's families that come to me that have little children and they want their children to be involved. They want their children to go shopping, to be able to pick out toys or things to fit yeah. in a stocking for, for children. And so they are so excited and I can see that excitement when they bring the items back for me because everything comes back usually here to the church and then I deliver them to the ministries mm -hmm. and they get so excited when they bring back their bags and their goodies of things that they bought. Um, tell me about the people and the families that you donate to. We have a lot of different people that we donate to. We partner with the Harris County Sheriff's Department Homeless Outreach Team that's right here in our area and they already know homeless people that are living right here in our own community. They're, some of them are living in their cars and they're parked behind HEB or McDonald's and that's where they spend the night. Many times they're in the woods. And so the, the Sheriff's Department helps me deliver a lot of those things because some of our donations were also coats and new socks and warm mittens. And then we also deliver to some nursing homes, some senior citizens, grandmas and grandpas that don't have any family nearby and maybe wouldn't get anything for Christmas. So a lot of those uh, filled stockings go to them. We also send some of them to some group homes where yeah. children that don't have parents are living. And so we have a lot of different agencies that we work with. Okay. What are the receivers' reactions? 
The receiver's reactions are amazing. For example, there was one family that really needed help at Christmas, and it was a single mom with four girls. And she had a job where she couldn't provide much for her children, and so several families went together and helped to give her money so that she could buy her girls roller skates and some things for Christmas, and to see the joy on her face when I could give her that gift card that she knew several other people gave so that she could buy those gifts were amazing. They're always very, very, very grateful. Very often there's tears. Okay. So how joyful um, are you to serve others? I love serving others personally. I get such joy out of trying to make the person that doesn't have everything, whether they're someone that looks like they're lonely and they don't have a friend and they need someone to talk to, or whether they're someone that you know would love to have a meal. It's wonderful to share what we have with others and to do it um, just when we have the urge to do it. And not just at Christmas and not just at certain times, but very often our inner mind will tell us, buy that person a meal or give that person a dollar or share your snack with someone else. And when you share, you just have a feeling of knowing that you have made another person happy. So, uh, what is your favorite part about sharing? My favorite part about sharing is seeing the light go on when I help others share to see that it's all about giving and not receiving. Mm -hmm. And very often it takes us a long time in our lives till we get older to realize that the giving part is the most joyful. Of course, we all like to give gifts, but when we can give a gift to somebody that truly needs something, whether it's a kind word or whether it's a stocking full of toiletries or candy or small toys, it's a wonderful feeling knowing that you were able to help somebody and you get the joy just from helping, knowing that I'm not going to get anything back. Thanks. You're welcome, and thank you for letting me share with you. In conclusion, everyone can share. You don't have to be rich or smart or an adult. You just have to care and want to help others.